hello everyone and welcome to my channel make it yourself so today we are going to make this very trendy crochet wind spinner so this is something which has been trending in the crochet world and I could not help myself from making a new version or you can say my version of this crochet wind spinner you can hang them in your garden or balcony and they spin beautifully when the wind blows so I hope you like this tutorial it has a small bird at the end of the wind spinner we'll start off first by making the wind spinner which is a very simple pattern we'll start off by making a slip knot and then we are going to chain 100 so this chain of 100 is the length that is going to be for the wind spinner if you would like a longer spinner then you can crochet more than 100 chains or if you want a shorter wind spinner you can maybe crochet 50 or so so we're going to make a chain of 100 so once we have done this chain of 100 we are going to start from the second stitch and we are going to make a single crochet in each of the chain so for this entire round or round one we are just going to make one single crochet in each of the chain so here uh, we are using we are starting off with the white color so we will be changing the color for the next round you can use any color that you prefer and any combination of colors for the entire spinner so I'm starting off with a white color at the center so we are done with round one and we have made one single crochet on each of the chain so this is the last chain so at the last chain we're going to chain one pull the yarn and then trim off the tail yarn now we are going to join our next color so we'll be joining at the other end where we do not have the tail yarn and you can see here we have one side so here the next color is a light pink color so we're going to make a slip knot and this slip knot we are going to join on this side where there is a V available so if you see this is the one which where we had done the single crochet and you should have uh, two loops available like this and here we will join the next color we will pull in the slip knot make it tight and then we are going to make a slip stitch and chain two for this row we are going to do double crochets and in each of the stitch we are going to do two double crochets so while doing the double crochets make sure to include the tail yarn under it so that we can hide it if you do not want to do this you can at the end of this round you can use a needle and stitch in the tail yarn also so I do it this way because it is easy and we are hiding the tail yarn while doing the crochet itself so for this entire round what we are doing is simple we are just making Two double crochets in each of the stitches so do this till the end of this uh, entire row So here we have reached at the end stitch so this is the last stitch for this row and we are going to make two double crochets in the last stitch also and after making the two double crochets we are going to chain one pull the yarn tight and then trim off the tail yarn so you can see here that all the tail yarns are getting collected on one side so again for the next round we will be making a color change and while we add the color to this end, end the end which does not have any tail yarn so we will connect the tail yarn in a similar manner here I am using a little bit darker pink because I want a gradual change of color you can use any color yarn 
so I make a slip knot and then in a similar manner I go to the very first stitch which has two loops in it like this and I pull in the slip knot through it I pull the tail yarns to reduce the size of the slip knot and then I make a slip stitch and then chain 2 and then I make two more double crochets into this first stitch because the chain th 3 is considered that we made at the beginning is considered as a double crochet so this for this round the pattern is very simple we are just going to make three double crochets in each of the stitches so you will be seeing that as we make three double crochets in each of the stitches the uh, this uh, pattern is going to start curling so while making these three double crochets just make sure that you are making the crochet stitches on top of the tail yarn also So continue by making three double crochets in each stitches till we reach the end of this round. So here you can see that uh, for this round uh, the color has changed here. That's because uh, the yarn which I was using got over and I connected another shade of pink to it. But you can use the same color and uh, I believe the, uh, changing the color uh, has not made a difference and in fact it has added uh, to the beauty of the wind uh, spinner and it looks like a different kind of a design so for this one you can use one color for the entire row and you need not change it I changed it because my yarn got over so this is the last stitch and here I am making three double crochets in the last stitch as well and once I have made three double crochets in the last stitch as usual I am going to chain one and pull it tight and then trim off the yarn so by this time if you can see that it has curled up quite a lot and uh, we'll be arranging them in spirals after this last round so for the last round I am using a bit of a contrasting color that is a yellow color yarn. I will be connecting it to the other end where there are no tail yarns. And I make a slip knot and pull it through the first stitch. I pull the tail yarns to make the slip knot smaller. And then I make one slip stitch. So for this round I am going to make just one single crochet in each of the stitches so just make one single crochet over each of the stitches and for the beginning part just make sure that you include the tail yarn below your stitches So do this till the uh, end of this row, till we reach the last stitch. So here we are at the end of the row and we are making a last few stitches. So here at the end we are going to chain one, uh, keep a long tail yarn, pull it and then trim off the yellow yarn as well. So here our uh, spinner is ready. We have to uh, uh, 
stack the curls in the way it is shown in the video so after this round uh, you can just stack it this way and keep it uh, and then you will get the spiral formation happening for the wind spinner or you can also use a stiffener a fabric stiffener to make the spirals look more stiff and in place so here you can see once we press it this way you can see that the spirals are formed so we can see that we have the tail yarns uh, uh, remaining on one side so the tail yarns what you can do is use your cro a smaller crochet hook and stitch them in into existing stitches make sure to stitch them in into the same color so like the white tail yarn i am crocheting it into the white yarn and the pink ones i am stitching it into the pink section so if you find using a crochet needle difficult for stitching in the tail yarns what you can do is you can leave a little bit longer tail and then use a needle and then stitch the tail yarn into the stitches using the needle so for that you will have to leave a longer tail so if you have a shorter tail like i have left you can use a smaller crochet hook and just pull the yarn through the existing stitches of the same color and then trim off so here i have stitched in uh, the tail yarns i have just left the yellow tail yarn so next uh, we are going to do the bird that we are hanging at the end so we are making a magic ring and then we are going to make chain one and into this magic ring we are going to make six single crochets so first the first single crochet that we make we are going to mark it using a stitch marker so we are going to make five more single crochets so that we have a total of six single crochets in the magic ring <laughs> The reason why I placed a marker in the first stitch is because we are going to work in a spiral. That is we are not going to slip stitch at the end of the round. We are going to in fact just work on top of the first stitch and move on to the next row. So here we have made six uh, single crochets. Now I have removed the marker and into this mark stitch I'm going to make one single crochet and this first single crochet again I'm going to mark it using this marker so that I know this is the starting stitch of this round and for this round the pattern will be to make two single crochets in each of the stitches <coughs> so into the same stitch make another single crochet now into the next stitch make two single crochets again make two stitch uh, two single crochets on the next stitch so we're going to do this for all the six stitches such that by the end of this round we will have a total of 12 single crochets So once we reach the marker, we know that it is the end of this round. So this is the last stitch and we make two more single crochets into the last stitch. Now we are going to remove our marker. <coughs> and every time we remove the marker, we will make one single crochet and use the stitch marker to mark it immediately. So that we know this is the first stitch of this round. So for this round, we are just going to make one single crochet over each stitch. 
so since in the previous round we had uh, we had uh, 12 single crochets so for this round also we should be ending with 12 single crochets because we are not making any increases we are just making one single crochet on top of each of the stitches So this is the last stitch and again we move on to the next round. So for the next round again we make one single crochet on top of the first stitch and mark this stitch at the beginning of this row. And for this round also like the previous round we are just going to make one single crochet on top of each stitch. So again we will be left with only 12 single crochets by the end of this round. So we have reached the end of this round and now we're going to remove the stitch marker and we're going to make one single crochet in the first stitch and we're going to place our marker back. So the pattern for this round is one single crochet in one stitch and an increase in the next stitch. So whenever there's an increase we are going to make two single crochets in the next stitch. So this is the next stitch so here we are going to make two single crochets in it so we're going to make one single crochet in one stitch and we're going to make two single crochets in the next stitch so we are going to do this uh, six times that is one single crochet in one stitch and two single crochet in the next stitch we're going to repeat this six times so by the end of this round you will have a total of 18 single crochets So we have reached the end of this round we are again going to remove the marker and then make one single crochet over the first stitch and place the marker back <coughs> so we're going to make nine single crochets in the first nine stitches so we have already made one single crochet this is the second one and this is the third single crochet so for the first nine stitches we are going to make one single crochet over each of them so that we have a total of nine single crochets So here we have completed 9 single crochets and for this round we will be turning our pattern inside out so that our tail yarn goes to the in, inner part of the pattern and now we are going to make a chain of 9. So after the chain of 9 
on the next stitch from top that is the next chain from top we are first going to make one half double crochet into the next stitch again we are going to make one more half double crochet then in the remaining six uh, chains we are going to make six single crochet so this is the tail of the bird and we made two half double crochets in the top two chains and in the remaining six chains we are going to make six single crochets So once we reach the base of the chain, we are going to again make 9 single crochets over the leftover 9 stitches. So we have 9 stitches left till our marker. So we are going to make 1 single crochet on top of each. So we have completed 9 uh, single crochet here and we have completed this round also. So now we are going to remove this marker and going to make 1 single crochet and then mark it for this next round. Uh, we are going to again make 9 single crochets over the first 9 stitches before we reach the tail part. So in the first 9 stitches we are going to make 9 single crochets that is 1 single crochet over each stitch. Now over the tail part we are going to make first three single crochets on each of the first three uh, stitches on this side so we're going to make three single crochets as we go up the tail and then we're going to chain one and move to the other side of the tail so the, just the stitch opposite to this uh, current stitch we're going to start from there we're going to make three more single crochets as we move down the tail so as we reach the base of the tail you will have now nine more uh, stitches left in the body so on each of the stitches just make one single crochet so make 9 single crochet in the remaining 9 stitches. So for the next round again we start by removing the marker make one single crochet over the stitch and then place the marker back so for this round it's very simple we are just going to make one single crochet over each of the stitches so as you can see we have this nine single crochets for the body so we are going to make one single crochet on top of each then we have three single crochets that goes up the tail so we are going to make one single crochet on top of each And there is a chain 1 in between, we are just going to skip that chain 1 that we did in the previous round and move on to the next stitch on the other side. So we have 3 
uh, stitches that goes down the tail so we're going to make one single crochet on top of each so make three single crochets on the tail part again this is one single crochet the second single crochet and the third single crochet now we have nine more single crochets left on the other side of the body so we will complete this nine single crochets till we reach the uh, marked stitch so this is our next round uh, which is the ninth round and this round is pretty simple here we are just going to make one single crochet on top of each stitches so in the previous round we had a total of uh, 24 single crochets so since we are just making one single crochet on top of each stitches we will still be left with 24 single crochets by the end of this round just make one single crochet till you reach the marker So here this is the last stitch for this round and we remove the stitch marker and we make a single crochet on top of the marked stitch and place the marker back. So here we are going to start decreasing. So we had made one single crochet in the first stitch. So in the next two stitches we are going to make a decrease. So to make a decrease we put a hook into the front loop of the next two stitches, pull through once and pull through the second time so make a single crochet in the next one and a decrease in the next so put your head hook into the front loops of the next two stitches pull to the first two loop and pull to the next two loops so we have made a decrease here so we are going to continue this pattern for this entire round and as you can see when we're making a decrease the two stitches get converted into a single stitch so by the end of this round we will be left with a total of 18 single crochets so continue this pattern around till we reach the marked stitch So as usual we have reached the end of the round and we are going to make a single crochet on top of the marked stitch and place our marker back and for this round also we are going to make one decrease so we have made, made one single crochet in the first stitch so into the next stitch we are going to make a decrease so here too we are going to just repeat this pattern of making one single crochet and one decrease till we reach the end of this round so by the end of this round we should have a total of 12 single crochets so this is the last round and once we reach uh, our initial uh, first stitch we are just going to trim off our yarn so continue this pattern around once we reach the beginning of the round we are just going to chain one and then pull tight and then trim off the tail yarn so here the body and the tail of the bird is ready we are going to connect the red yarn at the almost the third row uh, at the front side so we are going to connect and pull a loop and then we are going to chain 
four. So this is going to be the beak of the bird. So after chaining four, just go to the uh, next row and into the next row we are going to stitch the make a slip stitch so we're going to pull the yarn through the body of the bird and make a slip stitch after making the slip stitch pull tight and then trim off the yarn so now we have two tail yarns uh, left uh, uh, hanging out so these two tail yarn you can take a smaller crochet hook and then pull them through the stitches or the chains and then you can pull pull the tail yarns into the body of the bird so that the tail yarns are move to the inner side of the bird and are not visible on the outer part so just pulling the tail yarn to the inside of the body so use a crochet hook and pull the tail yarn to the inner part So we are going to stitch the eyes now. So we are going to put a black yarn in a needle and insert the needle through the uh, bird and uh, into the next stitch we are going to pull the black yarn. So you can either stick a, a black bead or a black sticker or you can just stitch it like it is shown in this video so on the opposite side also we are going to do the same so on the other side also we are going to insert our needle into one of the stitches and pull to the next stitch so do this two times so that the black yarn is shown prominently and once this is done uh, tie off the ends of the black yarn inside on the inner side of the bird so that the tail yarns are not visible and then trim off the uh, extra length so here our bird is done so the tail yarn uh, that is left at the end of the last round you can uh, stitch it using a needle or you can crochet it in using a smaller crochet hook into the existing stitches so once we are done with the bird we are going to make a tassel so we are going to hang this tassel just below the bird so this is a very optional step you can make your own designs up and need not add a tassel as well so to make a tassel we are just going to wind the yarn around our fingers and tie a knot at the top part then we are going to uh, roll around some yarn uh, at the middle and tie another knot now we're going to cut the edges of the yarn and we are going to uh, pull the, uh, the yarn which, with which we tie the knot inside into the uh, inside along with the other tassels so we are going to use the yellow yarn to uh, tie the bird so we're going to stitch the yellow yarn and bring it to the center of the wind spinner so after bringing it to the center we are going to use this yellow yarn and stitch the uh, bird to it so before stitching the bird to it i'm going to add some beads you can use beads of any colors so here I have used three beads and then I'm going to use a crochet hook and pull this yellow yarn uh, to the top uh, stitch and then I'm going to place a knot so that the bird, bird stays in its position. So once this is done I'm going to add few more beads towards the bottom part of the yarn and then I'm going to uh, tie the 
tassel to the end of the yellow yarn so you can make up your own design and add beads or tassel or any other crochet item so here are uh, bird along with the tassel and beads are attached to the wind spinner and we have a beautiful wind spinner ready uh, you can attach a string to the top part of the wind spinner using the string the wind spinner can be hung anywhere in your garden or in your balcony the wind will spin them around beautifully as they catch the breeze and the color combinations are endlessly creative. So you can you create your own wind spinner using your own combination of colors and pattern. I really hope you enjoyed this wind spinner and can take it as an inspiration to make your own beautiful creation. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon for notification and also give me a thumbs up. I hope you have a great day. Thank you guys.